What's going on guys, so this video is going to be a bit more of an industry update rather than your uh, regular everyday informative video. Why? Because of WhatsApp advertisements. So yes, um, according to TechCrunch from the first quarter of 2020, Facebook is going to release WhatsApp advertisements. Now these advertisements will be limited to just stories, so don't worry, it won't be like your you know, mid-conversation talking about, about a new jacket you see and as if by magic that jacket pops up in an advertisement, that will not be the case. It will be limited to uh, WhatsApp stories. And basically what I have noticed in the industry or in terms of Facebook is that because of the whole you know, privacy thing, you know, everything that's going on around Facebook nowadays, that they are actually moving their advertisements from the news feed to um, the stories. So Facebook stories, Instagram stories, and then soon also WhatsApp stories. Um, as well as uh, Messenger and private Facebook groups or private groups and pages. So no longer the news feed, it's more you know towards like the stories nowadays. Um, like I said, because of the whole privacy thing and because nowadays, you know, uh, I think, what is it, one in every three or four posts is a sponsored post or advertisement. So, you know, a quarter of what you see on Facebook is sponsored content, which is very lucrative for Facebook, but people are now getting onto it and people are no longer as interested in Facebook as they once were because they know they're just constantly getting bombarded with advertisements. Now, in terms of WhatsApp advertisements, why is this a big thing? Because in the Netherlands, 94% of the uh, people with a smartphone actually have WhatsApp installed on the phone and it's probably one of the main uh, messaging platforms in the Netherlands. For those that don't know what WhatsApp is, like I said, it's a messaging platform like Telegram, like WeChat, like iMessage um, and like I said, it's one of the main messaging platforms or messaging apps in the Netherlands. You know, it's one of the most common used, um, I think not so much in the US, um, in the UK, even less again, uh, iMessage is very, very big in the UK, but in the Netherlands, WhatsApp is like the main um, messaging platform there is. So as soon as I read all this, I thought to myself, you know, is this um, a very big mistake from Facebook or is it a very, very big opportunity? And I think it depends, you know, which way you look at it from what standpoint or perspective do you view it? So for entrepreneurs, this can be a very, very big opportunity because, you know, we've already noticed that open rates on private messenger advertisements are much, much higher than, uh, for example, clicks or reach on like newsfeed advertisements. So, you know, same goes for um, many chats, you know, the chatbots, uh, the open rates are much higher than email, and this is going, probably going to be even higher again. From a user standpoint, I think it's going to be a shame, and I would rather pay, you know, anywhere from 50 to upwards to 120 a year just to use WhatsApp without advertisements. You know, um, I would rather pay a ten a month to have like the, the the premium version of WhatsApp without advertisements than you know constantly get bombarded with uh, even more ads because you know basically WhatsApp is one of the few places that is still ad ad free and you know from Facebook's point of view they are they because they obviously took over uh, WhatsApp a while back. Um, I think they spent like a billion on, you know, to, to acquire it, but they ha haven't actually done anything with it. Now, obviously, there's a lot of rumors going around that they just used it for the data, but, you know, now they've got this company or they've got this, this project and it's just costing them money. It's not actually, you know, gaining them any money, whereas all the other platforms like Instagram, uh, you know, they've, they've introduced advertisements and they're earning a lot of money from it. So, you know, it was only a matter of time before WhatsApp advertisements were introduced. And like I said, now, um, is the time that it's actually, you know, it's on the verge of coming here. And like I said, you know, from a user standpoint, this is a big no-no, but for entrepreneurs, this can be a very, very lucrative opportunity. Now, in terms of a marketing standpoint, you know, some things that you need to watch out for, like I said, news feeds will not longer be um, as relevant or your reach will be very, very limited um, going forward. So make sure you do focus on, like I said, you know, groups, uh, Facebook groups, uh, the stories, so Facebook stories, Instagram stories, and then soon um, WhatsApp stories. And another thing to focus on is that uh, basically traffic and reach is no longer as relevant or as effective as it once was. Um, and I've now noticed that within the industry, uh, we're moving from like traffic and trying to reach as many people as possible to uh, more of an impact type 
of industry where we're just trying to impact a smaller group as much as possible. Okay, so let me know in the comments down below what do you think of uh, this development, what do you think of WhatsApp advertisements um, from an entrepreneur standpoint as well as from a user standpoint. Let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you got something out of it. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.